It's tough to beat a team three times, especially in the state title game. The Ishmael Hematites had that exact task at hand here Saturday at Ford Field, trying to beat the Bulldogs for their third consecutive state championship. The Hematites wanted to get off to a fast start against the Bulldogs, and they did just that. On Detroit Loyola's opening possession, Nicholas Lee had his pass picked off by Thomas Finnegan, who jumped the route at his own 10-yard line. Ishpeming's offense faced a fourth and one on their first drive of the game. Ozzy Corp found Luke Kuliu down the right-hand side for a 19-yard gain and, more importantly, a first down. That play worked so well for the Hematites, so they went right back to the air a short time later as Corp connected with Dominic Sardini inside the Bulldogs' five-yard line. On third and goal from inside the one, Corp followed his own line in for the score, 6-0 Hematites. Ishpeming's lead was extended to eight on the two-point try as Nick Komet hauled in the grab and got the ball in for an eight-nothing lead. Ishpeming fought tooth and nail to stay with the Bulldogs, but Loyola's size and running back Marvin Campbell proved to be the difference as they beat the Hematites 29 to eight to win the Division Seven State Championship. It's tough being a physical team like we are, a smash mouth team when you get a team like that. I mean, yeah, we beat them the last couple years. It was hard stopping them. They're sending, you know, four big, huge guys through the hole. You know, we were trying to turn their sweep in. When we do that, we'd get outside and then that would just open up the hole for, you know, these two big, big tackle and guards that they would pull up through the hole with their fullback and quarterback. So they made it difficult. Uh, it wasn't anything that we didn't prepare against, but, um, you know, they're pretty dominant. When we watched the Division One team, Celine, come out right after our game. Loyola was bigger than them. They were really big. It's hard to stick on them, and they just would shove off our blockers. Tough to get off of, or tough to get off of their blocks too. Then they would just have three to four guys up in the hole, and it's just hard to stop that. When you're when you're coming through and you see two, 290 pound linemen coming at me when I'm 140 pounds, it's like running into three brick walls, and you're not gonna win ever. And you got Marvin Campbell coming, you're not gonna take him down with one person. There's gotta be three people, everywhere. There's no other way I'd have spent my past three years. I mean, two state championships, and then this year we weren't, we didn't quite get it done. But I mean, these are memories that I'll have forever, and it hurts now. But I mean, I wouldn't trade this in for anything. And I'm sure down the road I'll look at these years as the best years of my life, and they were just great times. I'm gonna miss them. What we've accomplished in the last three years, let's say five years, you know, you know, being down here four out of five years. Not very many teams can say that. Um, so, you know, these kids got to be proud of what they did. They will be proud, I guarantee you. And, um, you know, I can't say enough about them. They're great kids. I'd love, any coach would love to coach these kids. Ishpeming will lose 14 seniors from this year's team. In Detroit, I'm Jerry Taylor for ABC 10 and CW5 Sports.